Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to be doing the delta y and y delta converse conversion, which is another form of uh, solving, uh, simplifying a circuit. Now the delta y and y delta conversion or the pi t or t pi conversion are kind of similar. The pi t and t pi conversion, you just have to, you know, visualize the pi circuit as the, uh, what you call it, uh, as the delta circuit and the t circuit as the y circuit in this case. Uh, so if we show the, just one example for delta y, I'm sure that pi t will, won't be something new for you to learn because it's basically the same thing. It's just your way of visualizing it because pi is actually this one and t is actually this circuit. So yeah, first we need to know the formula for conversion. Like if you want to convert convert from one form to another, if you want to convert from one form from this form from delta to y, uh, inverted y. Uh, to this inverted y form of circuit then the formula that you have to use is this one the yellow yellow bolded i mean uh the one drawn with the yellow color it's like for finding r a you just have to do you just have to use these r1 into r2 divided by sum of all these resistors and for finding r b uh you just have to use see this is b so r r1 into r3 divided by the sum of all the resistors and similarly for rc you do the same r2 into r3 divided by the sum of all the resistors and if you want to find the opposite if you want to convert this one the y so the y form of circuit to a delta form of circuit then you use this formula the one in the green uh, for finding r1 you just have to first the sum of all the uh, products of the uh, pairs like r1 r r a r b plus RC, RA, RC plus RB, RC divided by, for R1, you would have to look at the opposite. For R1, the opposite the opposite point, uh, the opposite angle or point, I mean, if you're going to visualize it as a, uh, what you call a triangle, I mean, for a triangle, you have this angle, so the opposite angle and opposite side is this. So the opposite angle or the opposite point would be C, so RC, and for R2, it will be RB divided by RB. And for R3, it will be RA divided by RA. So yeah, so this is one example that we're about to show. Uh, the example that we're showing is for this circuit. This circuit is fairly easy. You have to first convert this one, this whole thing into... You will know how when to stop doing these conversions. I mean, you can do multiple conversions in a circuit. You will know how when to stop it after you see that you can do a normal series per parallel uh, circuit. Uh, solving and then you can just find the current here. You just have to find the current You can just find the current uh, by using the series par parallel formula So this circuit first we convert it into this y inner y we convert it into delta So we get this now applying the formula we, we are now we are converting from delta So from y to delta so we use this formula so r a r b is you know 6 into 6 so 6 into 6 and since these are all the same number, so this is a similar number, we just multiply it with 3, so we get 108. And 108 divided by RC, which is 6 itself. So answer divided by 6, so we get 18. So since it will all be the same, because these are all sim sim similar valued resistors, so we just get 18 here, 18 here, and 18 here. All right, so now it will be easy. Now you just you can just do parallel for these two, parallel for these two, and parallel for these two, and you could, you'll just get one whole total uh, delta. So this will be the resulting circuit, one whole total delta. So since we know that doing a parallel of a uh, similar number, similar valued resistor, if we do a parallel conversion of similar number, a similar valued resistor, we just get the half of it. So the half of 18 is uh, 9. So this will be 9, 9, 9. And this was 42 volt. So the current will be I equals. Now look, you can just you can just do a parallel conversion here. These two are in series with each other. And this this is this one is parallel with these two because the uh, the common point between this and this resistor is just one. Now th these are not the common point between these two resistors, just one common point. So these two are in series. Uh, so we get nine and nine, we get eighteen. So it will be eighteen here and then nine here. So now you can just do a parallel, a simple parallel for this. So 9 into 18 by 9 plus 18, we get 
9 into 18 divided by 9 plus 18. So I'm calculating with my calculator. So we get 6 ohm. So that's the total resistor. So I equals V is 42 volt divided by 6 ohm. So we get 6 7s are 42. So 7 ampere. So that's the answer. 7 ampere. That's the current. That's the total current for this resistor. So yeah, uh, delta Y and Y delta is a really easy conversion to do. Uh, if you get circuits like this, you'll know, it on, you'll know it on your own when to apply it. If you see circuits in this kind of format, in a delta format or in a, uh, what you called, uh, a Y format. Now the pi format would look like this. So this is the pi circuit that we were talking about. Now notice that it's actually just it's actually just another delta. See, if you just take this as one point, to take this as one point. So this is this one point that's that's here. So we have this one here and this one here, and then this is the resistor. So this is the delta. And for T, the T conversion that we would do is this is the T so this is the T format. The T format is just Y. So if you just invert these resistors. You just draw it like this way like you know this is the T okay this is the uh, sorry this is the T and this is the Y so these are these are basically the same you don't need to learn anything new the pi T or Delta Y these are the same thing you just have to visualize it in the same in one way or the other if you want to visualize if you find this one easier you visualize it in, in this way and the formula is the same this is the formula for converting from Delta to Y the yellow one and the green one is for Y to Delta so yeah, uh, I hope you understood uh, my tutorial and please subscribe and uh, give a thumbs up to this video if you want more tutorials and good luck.